So in this video, I want to look at examples where we're actually dividing by a decimal. We have already seen situations where we've gone into decimals, but none where we've actually been dividing by something like 0.4 or 0.2. So I want to show you how we can deal with that. So before we begin, okay, and we go into uh, the process, we need to change this part of the problem, this 0.4. So what we do is we want to get rid of the decimal. And the way to do that would be to multiply this by 10. If I multiply that by 10, I would get 4, and I don't then need to worry about the decimal. However, if you multiply this by 10, you must also multiply this by 10. Because essentially, remember, this is a fraction. This is the numerator. This is the denominator. And if you've worked with fractions fairly recently, then you should know that whatever you do to the top of the fraction, you must do to the bottom when you multiply um, top and bottom of a fraction. So if I multiply that by 10, I've got to multiply that by 10 in order to not change the size of the fraction itself. So I change the problem by multiplying both of them by 10. And so now I have 200 divided by 4. Now we should know the answer is 50 here. But 4 is into 2, go 0 with 2 remainder. 4 is into 20, go 5 with no remainder. 4 is into 0, go 0. So the answer is 50. So this is also a way of seeing that when you divide by a number between 0 and 1, you actually get something bigger. You get a larger value. So 20 divided by 0 0.4 is 50. So that means that for our second example, 3.7 divided by 0 0.2, we should end up with an answer larger than 3.7, because we're dividing by a number between 0 and 1. So before we do any division, we fix it by multiplying both of them by 10. Now, the reason here is to get rid of the decimal in what you're dividing by. If it had been 3.7 divided by 2, that would have been fine. We could do that. So essentially, this is what's telling you how much to multiply by. So I'm going to multiply both of them by 10. We get 37 divided by 2. So 37 divided by 2. 2's into 3 go 1, with 1 left over. 2's into 17 go 8, with 1 left over. Bring in the 0 and decimal point. 2's into 10 go 5. So that means that 3.7 divided by 0.2 is 18.5.